Hey y'all, welcome back to the pink envelope. I have a front door fashion with me. I love this box. Um, it's a, what's called a non-recurring subscription, meaning it's like a uh, decor stills. You don't get a box automatically sent to you every time. When you want a box, you go in and order a box. Um, this one is available always, whereas like the decor still still it box, it'll sell out and you have to wait for it to come back up. This is a company that is available year round or like a uh, kind of like Stitch Fix where you can do the on-demand orders, same thing. Except for they do not charge you a personal styling fee and you get a certified fashion personal stylist, a human, a human. I have driven up to their... <laughs> their business storefront and met each of the stylists all of them there's no algorithms they're all real people so the perk in that is when they're making your box they already know what's in your closet and they build outfits based on what's in your closet and what they're sending if you want the full nitty-gritty down low I have past unboxing videos you can check out and I have them on the subscription box directory so you can go down into the URL here pop over there see past outfit photos, see past unboxings, grab coupon codes, because I'm gonna give you a free $50 to shop with when you sign up using my link. Um, and you can set your budget. I'm gonna be honest, this is not a cheap box. The average price per item is $100. This top I'm wearing, which by the way, is one of my all-time favorite tops, I think it was $250. So they do send luxury brands, luxury labels, think Nordstrom, Saks Fifth Avenue, Neiman's, that is where they're at. Um, what else should I tell you real quick before we go play dress up? No styling fees, no membership fees, no shipping fees. They do a $100 hold on your credit card, $100. I guarantee you there's like $2,000 worth of clothes in here. Um, just for shipping the box. And then as soon as you return the box, they take the hold off. It's wild. How they do it, I don't know. I'm just so glad they do it. And they build full outfits. So you don't just get pieces like Stitch Fix sends you a shirt and a random pair of shorts. And you're like, what am I supposed to do? Full outfit. So I'm going to run to the next room and we're going to full on try on the clothes because I want you to see how gorgeous they are. And then if you like what you're seeing, grab that URL and sign up, take your style quiz and meet your personal stylist so that they can start shipping you their super cute spring line. Inside your box is a garment bag that I've obviously already opened and pulled the clothes out. And are the full outfits hung together in grouping? So these are actually grouped together with, by rubber bands. So you know what goes with what. You also get a piece of paper that has all the details on it so you know what outfit to put on. So I'm gonna go get outfit one, slide it on, and come show you. Here is outfit one. I love the jewel tones in this so much. I love the crushed velvet in the skirt and the ruching. And here's what's great. I've had my personal stylist, Rachel, for five years or more. At this point, she knows my wardrobe better than I do. So when she's pairing these things together, she's referencing what's in the box and in my closet, and it brings me so much joy. So she told me to go get my black heels and to put them on. And then she picked out colors that she knows work great for my fair skin tone. I absolutely love this look. This is the ghost silk top. And if I remember correctly with ghost, ghost silk, you can like wash it. It's like super durable silk. And this has a zipper that zips down here. So if we wanted to get real like va va boom, we could unzip it. We also could zip it up to go with the sport coat and more. I feel so comfortable and so pretty in this outfit. So this is the Bishop and Young Sarlotta side ruche skirt, extra small, $95. Go silk, go scuba cutaway prune top, extra small, $251. Woo, that is the thing. These go silk tops are so expensive, but it's that special silk that is like durable, washable, like it is, uh, doesn't, doesn't naturally wrinkle. It has like a bunch of qualities it boasts. So you pay for that, which I'll let you know, I'm totally good with. I save up for my splurge clothes. So what do we think about this look? I'm gonna have to get Jonathan to vote because he's the one who actually helped style this box. He filled out the style profile to say, sexy, cute, and fun date night out outfit. So that's what this entire box is filled with. <sighs> she is so good. So she sent an alternate top to go with the same skirt. 
that follows the jewel tones that I love. However, it's too big. It's a bodysuit. Like, look at the sleeves. And it falls a little too low here, and it's actually kind of sagging in the crotch. But I love the color. Like, if it was one size smaller, I think it'd be absolutely perfect. I love the jewel tones. I love that it's like winter, but also I could pull the sleeves up and wear it as spring, I feel like. Put a pop of color in the shoe. Now this top I think is better. So the skirt we already know is 95. This Ren bodysuit is also 95. Yeah, and she sent a size small, an extra small would have been perfect. So I will reach out to her. So I text message with my stylist. You can email you, there's a bunch of different avenues and ask her, hey, does that by chance come in an extra small? If yes, I'd love to see it. You also can see the difference in this top and the last one. That goes silk, although expensive, doesn't wrinkle. Whereas you can see this guy, he's, uh, you know, struggling a little bit in the wrinkle department. So here is outfit and look number two. Number three is completely different. So let me go grab it. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> I have a tendency to dress a little more on what you would say the conservative or here, I'll make sure my bra's not sticking out. Prudish maybe could be, you know, used to describe me. I feel ridiculous in this outfit, but I am open to change. I am open to feedback. Is it flattering? Like when you look at, I feel like the jacket is a little big. Like you can see on the sleeves, it's a little loose everywhere. So we can give grace in that. But when you see this, does this look like a gorgeous 40 year old woman who's going out with her husband? Cause I feel like I just hit up forever 21 <laughs> and bought a bunch of clothes and now I'm going out with my friends. That's like what I feel like. I don't feel feminine, powerful or gorgeous, but I may be stuck in old ways. I may be stuck in bad habits. This top is just a little tank top. So like, it's just a tank that's ruched down the center. This is a skirt that's ruched down the side. I actually think it gives me a booty. That's kind of nice. Not, most things don't give me a booty. Um, but I don't know. Y'all are gonna have to speak into me. I do want a new leather jacket. My last one literally fell apart while John and I were on a date. We came home and I had black, I should have posted, all on my neck. It was from Stitch Fix from 10 years ago and it fell apart. Um, I want one like this, but I want to be a little edgier, a little more, as my kids say, rock and roll. So here's the next outfit. Let me give you some pricing on these three things. So the jacket is Michael Starr Enzo Vegan Leather Crop Jacket, extra small, 228. That's going back because I don't definitely don't love it that much. This skirt, the Relina Burnout Skirt, extra small, 148. I don't know, you guys. I'm just gonna have to wait to hear from y'all. And the uh, Susan Monaco Center Gather Tank and Vista size small, 138. So take a look, let me know. This is my first, how many outfits? Three outfits from collection one. I'll be moving to collection two now to show you the next, actually, I actually don't know how many outfits, maybe another three. We're gonna find out. Okay. <laughs> What do we think about this? I like this more. But then again, I'm wearing a blazer. So is that like crushing the whole point of a sexy date night outfit? Oh, so we've got the blazer, which I think is so cute. We've got this rose gold top and some vegan leather shorts with pockets. Very comfortable once again. The shorts are the stretchy shorts, so they're forgiving. The shirt is adjustable. What do we think about this look as a going out outfit? She did say if it's like cold, cold, to get the fleece lined leggings and to put on a pair of booties instead of wearing the high heels, which I think would also be super, super cute. Um, this is a, I think a Trina Turk, yes. Um, and I feel like everything of hers is too big. So is that too big? I couldn't tell, it is a size two, it's not a zero. I'm kind of digging these shorts. <laughs> I don't need these shorts. I have several pair that are similar, but I don't have any black shorts. So that's kind of fun. Okay, let's look at right. What are we looking at? So we have the Trina Turk Atwood jacket size two. <gasps> okay, I know that her stuff is pricey. I am fully aware of that. But this is about $100 more than I anticipated. 478. 478, okay. 
it feels amazing if that helps any. But whoa. Okay. So then the Bishop and Young cami, $85, and the Michael Starr shorts, $138. Both this and this are definitely within the budget. If I end up liking it, what do you guys think? I can't swing it. If I would have put this on and felt this overwhelming magic, maybe then I could have swung it, but not, not when I was asking y'all if it's too big, if you know what I mean. Okay. Same outfit, except for she swapped the top out for this button up vest. Now you can see my bra. I was too lazy to go swap my bra and it's actually holding my microphone up so you guys can hear me because the camera is kind of a long ways off. So ignore this, even though maybe it, it might actually work as far as a look, but here it is with the new top. Here's my qualm. She actually gave me this top and then said, hey, go get the pants. What'd she say, which ones? She said, go to your closet and get your coated jeans. I have a pair of black coated jeans that she sent me and you can wear this top with it. And I was like, oh my gosh, that would be so, so cute. And Jonathan just walked by and said, this jacket is his favorite part of both outfits thus far. Of course, the $500 jacket is the one he loves. But I have such a problem with shirts puckering. So can y'all see right here? Why? Why do I have that problem? And I have it very often. And I can't, like every once in a while, I'm like, I'll just get over it. I can't. I've learned that I can't. But what causes, like, is it, like, it's obviously me. <laughs> because <laughs> I would totally wear this with those black coated pants she sent me. But we got a smidge of a problem here. So if anybody has any insight as to how to fix this or what causes this, or if it just, you know, it just might be one of those things, I'd love to hear it. This top, the white one, is the Mini Rose Cotton Blend Vest with snaps, size small, $311. Okay, maybe I'm glad it doesn't work out and it's got a little puckering going on. Ooh. If you wore the shorts, the jacket, and the shirt, the outfit is $938. <laughs> Whoa. Once again, if you could feel the quality on these clothes um, and just like the fit and the way it trims in, I get why people splurge. And if you have the means to do it, I say do it. Dive in and enjoy the fruits of your labor. I'm not quite there yet, so have fun playing a little dress up, but then I gotta be a little more frugal <laughs> when it comes to a date night outfit that I'll wear, I don't know, 10 times a year. If it was something I was wearing every day, like that black leather jacket I wanna invest in that I'll keep for the next 10, 15, 20 years, oh, girl, I'll invest. Okay, let's head over and try the third outfit in the collection number two. See what we think. So same shorts, lose the jacket, add the top. I'm keeping an open mind. So y'all give me feedback. I just feel like I'm like, hello boobies. <laughs> I literally want to talk to y'all like this. This makes me feel better to talk to y'all. But I mean, if I'm gonna say I'm gonna wear this out on the date, I have to at least be able to stand in my living room by myself with y'all on the camera and feel comfortable. So if y'all tell me yes, that this is date night with my hubby, appropriate and cute, I'm gonna do it. I need to be stretched and, and listen, my stylist Rachel at Front Door Fashion is literally the best at stretching me. She has sent me some things like on repeat until I like clicks with me that, oh my gosh, it is cute and I should keep it. So she is the perfect person to get me to try to do these things. I just, um, sometimes I don't know. So y'all vote. <laughs> and tell me, I always could pair a jacket with this. Once again, she did tell me if I want to partner this shirt with those pants that she sent me, the coated pants, I absolutely could do that as well. I love those pants, they're super cute. So, um, she also said I could pair this with dark wash blue jeans if I wanted to. Okay, this top is the Susanna Monaco Crew Slit Long Sleeve Top in Frost Extra Small, 148. Okay, let's vote. I need like the theme song to Grease to be playing right now because if you could have seen me trying to get into these pants, it would have been the only like closest thing. They're practically painted on. I don't know how I feel. And then these shirts with these cutouts. 
I thought the swimsuits that had the underboot cutouts were weird. Now I'm seeing the shirts and I just, I don't know. I'm not old enough to be confused by these things yet. So maybe it's just a fashion miss. Rachel sent me some trending things for younger girls and I'm just not like digging it. Cause typically when Rachel sends me a box, now I've never had my husband do the profile and say like super sexy things, way stretch for me. But typically I'm like elegant, sophisticated, fun. I'm going to this event, I need these things. And I struggle. I want to keep the whole box. This stuff is so dang cute. This might be the first box in five years that I only wanna keep a couple of things. So, and also, can I say thank you? Thank you for being willing to walk me through this and vote on these things and give me an outside opinion. Um, I also help, hope it helps you get to know front door fashion a little bit more. Um, this one is completely opposite from all of my other front door fashion boxes. So if you saw my last boxes and were like, nope, too fuddy-duddy, you may be seeing this and going, that's exactly what I was looking for. So I am glad we're getting to show some variety in here. Uh, vote and let me know what you think. <laughs> I also don't wear much black and I've worn a lot of black. I've got another black one coming and I am digging that. I think it's growing on me wanting to wear like not like a neon highlighter worth the color <laughs> in my outfit. Okay, uh, where did I put the piece of paper? Hold on. The Hudson, love Hudson brand by the way, great jean. Uh, ankle skinny in champagne foil, size 25, $215. It's exactly what I would expect out of these pants. So I think that's great. The Bailey 44 Florence ribbed top in black, 138. It's got a liner, I'll tell you this. So it's got a, a good liner in it, it's thick. I don't have a bra on, although I still feel like it's showing a little more than I personally would like. Um, but 138 still seems expensive for this. I just feel like this is just a basic black rib top. I probably could grab it at Abercrombie for like 30 to 40. It's like what was going through my head, just speaking candidly. Um, so yeah, I don't know. What do you think? I'm holding my mic because where is it supposed to go? Anywho, when I walked in, Jonathan called me a highlighter. So that's promising. That's what I want to be known for when I'm on a date. Y'all, what is this? Like, what is this look? I know I'm out of touch. I know, I know, I know. And perhaps Rachel and her goal to style me differently sent these things, but I just can't. I could not imagine walking out in public like this. And then, like, my big question is... I don't want my girlfriend's husbands to be seeing all the things that I don't know. I don't know. So this is, oh, oh, the Susanna Monaco dress in ultra marine, $198. I mean, once again, great materials. Talk about having to hold in your tummy in your poochie for an entire date night. Definitely not going to dinner in this. This is enough of this. Oh, actually, uh, well, hold on. This shirt is another shirt she got. Let me set this down over here. She told me to put this shirt on with the jeans. This is the Tarte Collection Black Johnny Top Extra Small, $88. I couldn't get my head through that hole. My head was too big, but look. It looks like it's a lot like that blue top I had on earlier, but just in black and with a little bit of a turtleneck. So I'm sure this is cute. It just wouldn't get past this big old mop top of mine. Okay, I do have my mic magnetized right here. So ignore that right there if that's messing you up. Last outfit, what do we think? I think this is the first one that I actually feel very pretty in. It's still got a little too much revealing. I mean, I know the cutouts look cute. And let me tell you, I see other women wearing it and I they look gorgeous. And I'm like, oh, why am I not brave enough to wear things like that? Because they're owning their space and they look gorgeous. But I think it's just not my stage of life. It's not who I am. I'm raising preteen daughters. So I'm a little more like aware of what I'm wearing. Um, but in all of that being said, I actually do feel pretty in this look, even if we got a little more cutouts happening. <laughs> Did I like to have showing? 
I think this is cute. So let's see, this one is the Bailey 44 pearl ribbed dress, black, extra small, $188. Then this is our final look. I feel like this has been so good because we've had a side of front door fashion we've never gotten to see before. I mean, five years worth of boxes I've been showing you guys, and we've shown business professional, we have shown summer casual, and everything in between the two of those. But this is the first time I've intentionally said, send me going out sexy clothes, and they did. So I feel like, what do they not do? <laughs> I feel like they do everything. I don't feel like this is a match for me, but that's 100% on me, just not my style. I know to go back to the other and be like, okay, never mind. Sexy isn't for me. Let's go back to sophisticated chic because that one happens to work for my personality, my style. And my husband will just have to imagine I'm wearing something sexy or get, get some sexy outfits after we're home and I'm back in my comfort zone. Uh, this box had a total of 16 items for a grand total of $2,942. So crazy. If you do keep everything in the box, they usually give you 10% off. You just take this little form, you fill it out, check what you want to keep. You can write notes on it. I typically grab my cell phone and take a picture of this just so I have it for my reference because you do fold this back up and put it in that box I showed you earlier. And then literally everything is done. You put the clothes back in the box that you don't want. They provide the tape, you tape the box, you put the label on it, you call for a pickup and you're done. Or you can tell your stylist, hey, call for me a pickup and they'll do it. Super hands-on, super friendly, obviously super versatile <laughs> in what they can send. Um, I cannot wait to hear y'all's feedback because we stretched it on this one, y'all. This one was outside the norm for this channel. Remember, if you want more details, more nitty gritty, more everything on front door fashion, go to that subscription box directory. The link is below. It has so many photos on there and past unboxings and more. It's a great resource to grab onto and it'll direct you to other blog posts where you can read more and see more should you wanna see those past boxes I keep referencing. I hope that you guys are having an absolutely amazing day. And if you subscribe to the channel, I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye y'all.